All right, so we're back to the only game that simulates the slow descent into insanity as you're stuck inside, unable to do anything, and only seeing the same people every day that you see all the time. It's The Sims 4. Today, the Mann family will understand what it's like to get stuck inside of an apocalypse bunker along with 94 other poor bastards. In order to simulate the insanity, I got a mod that takes all the emotions that a sim can feel and times is it by 10. I'd like to take a moment to mention that today's otherworldly torture is brought to you by our sponsor, Raycon Earbuds. I would just tell you about them, but that's boring. So instead, we're gonna put them through a food processor and see if they can survive. More on that later though. So the idea is with all the emotions times 10, I'm going to build several floors down into an apocalypse bunker. Each floor is going to emphasize one of the many emotions that can kill sims. I will then allow our floodgate of sims to go, and I'm going to see which floor the sims congregate to and which way they die the most. We do have a new member of the pain train today, our touristy looking walking STD vaccine that won the last disease challenges here, Whitney Alaragagaga. What the hell was her name? Oh, it is Whitley. Ariaga Gaga Gaga Gaga. She was able to stave off a disease that even killed Florida and Australian man, so I'm sure she'll do quite nicely here. All right, first things first, it's time to build an appropriate layer of tiers. I'm actually gonna start it from what looks like a bunker shelter. Put this here, put a little door on it that makes you think you're not going to get skinned alive. All right, got some stairs going down to the pits of hell. Actually, you know what? That's a fantastic name for this lot. Actually, hold on. Welcome to new and improved hell. It's like when Windex updates its formula. So the very first bunker floor will be dedicated to making people so angry their hearts explode. Eh, what's a floor pattern that would piss a normal human being off? That's pretty good. It's actually called Meltdown. The flooring that literally every single preschool in the entire universe has. You know what? Screw it. Let's go with the kid pattern. Beautiful. Got some nice lumpy lighting effects. Do you know who's gonna make a special guest appearance? Angry Gnome. Oh, we're gonna go all the way. I'll put a bunch of bathrooms in, but I'm gonna leave them not against the wall so that everyone can still see the angry gnome looming at them. All right, everyone gets a very comfortable, somewhat tetanus-inducing bunk. Easels are fantastic. They piss off more sims than damn near anything else in this game. Anger can be very difficult to do because there's not many ways to make your sims angry. So uh, here's an extra one. I need to put a bunch of bars down so that all the sims get drunk and then start talking sh about one another. God, just from here, you can see the path down to a childhood nightmare. All right, this next room is gonna be about making the sims laugh to death. There's a lot more ways to do that. Here, they get some grade A astro turf. There's nothing happier than a smiley face made out of toilet paper rolls. Oh, this bedroom has a butterfly on the wall. All right, we need a bunch of televisions so that people can go on and watch all the things that they're not allowed to do anymore. And we need the comedy mics. Put those right in front of the doors to the bathroom. How big are you allowed to make this television? Everyone's gonna feel the goddamn happiness up in here. It's coming through the floor of the angry room. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, here, here's a bunch of decor. You guys can even have an eight foot tall waste basket. About a 10 foot tall desk name plate so everyone knows who's killing them. It says Grace still slays. Bottle of delicious bleach. And you know what, what the hell? Here's a freaking pirate ship. Big ass dance floor. Can you make Sims pole dance? Whatever, here's a pole. Maybe they'll dance on it. There's still not enough fun here. They need more fun. Fun. This is what the Sims consider fun. Tentacles are fun. I have an idea. There we go. <laughs> It's perfect. Got some guitars that the Sims can learn how to play. Couple of keyboards. These guys can make their own music while they dance. I don't really know what they would do with this, but I like the way it looks, so we're gonna buy a couple of them. Oh yeah. This place looks like a ton of fun. Obviously, this is going to be the embarrassment floor. If I had to guess, this will be where most people end up dying. All right, more bars for a bunch of unprepared pregnancies. In fact, here. Nothing like trying to use the bathroom while some dude sips a martini looking at you eerily. I need to give people a reason to come down here, so I'm just going nuts on the TVs. Need a bunch of hot tubs to get the mood set. Nice pool. Couple of diving platforms. All right, let's roll. How you doing, everyone? Yeah, playing in the mud I see there, Florida man. So happy. Hey, listen, I got a brand new shelter prepared for you guys to escape the apocalypse. Have fun. I like how everyone goes down and Spleen is like, oh, hell no, I'm not going down there. Going straight for the fun room. Except for Florida man, I should say. He's going down to the embarrassment room. Don't ask what is happening. Just enjoy. 
as Florida and Australian man have a little dance party on the lowest floor of hell together. Okay, Australian man, you're 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 getting out of hand there. Spleens, you fool! You should have stayed topside. All right, time to pump the sim amount up to 20. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining the social experiment. Sir, your mustache is looking very erect today. It's the earbuds lady again. I don't want your goddamn earbuds. Or do I? Raycon went ahead and gave me these earbuds to try out. Randy likes them. Melissa Etheridge likes them. My cat Ember likes them. They're actually super tiny. They've got a good base. Six hours of charge time, but all that stuff is probably stuff that you've heard before. They may be half the price of other earbuds, but here's my question. What happens? if you put them into a food processor. Listen, I use these things for working out, all right? They need to take a beating. All right, so imagine this. You pair them up with Bluetooth, which takes like two seconds, when all of a sudden, your earbuds accidentally fall into a food processor that's turned on. You reach in, you grab your earbuds, and they still totally work. If it can survive a a food processor, it can probably survive your gym. The EveryDA 25 earbuds are their best ones yet. There's a bunch of colors. You get six hours of playtime, super low profile size, and they pretty much pair up to anything with Bluetooth almost instantly. I don't know if I'd recommend putting them inside of a food processor on purpose, but if there's something you might be interested in, you want them for 15% off, you can check out buyraycon.com slash graystillplays. Yeah, I've been using them for about a month now, just working out, and God damn it, if they're good enough to get blended, they're good enough for me. They're also super comfortable, and my cat has tried to eat them a total of nine times, and my cat only eats stuff that he likes. So again, thanks to Raycon for sponsoring the torture. If you guys want to rock the Florida Man earbuds, there's going to be a link in the description below. You get 15% off. The fun floor is really starting to get quite a few people on it. You better watch out, Bab. Better not have too much fun. The mental traits are already going insane. She didn't even do anything and she already feels like she's going to vomit. This is on the happy floor. And Bab just vomited inside of the toilet, but that made her very happy. That's right. Tell some jokes, Bab. That's the first step toward imminent death. This guy's like, oh, this is the best performance I've- <laughs> Oh my God. Bab has been telling jokes for like three minutes and this guy died from it. <laughs> and she's like, God damn it, am I only fan? Hey Bab, how does it feel to be personally responsible for the very first death in today's game? And she's like, that feels right. Well, the very first death I would say calls for 20 more Sims. All right, we've got a whole new slew of potential death subjects coming down the stairs. Bab is still giving her performance over here. <laughs> oh no. Real quick, is this a pile of water or urine sitting here? That better not be urine. I just thought about it too. If the Sims can get the fitness attribute, it's totally possible that they'll die from overexertion because of the exhaustion being 10 times worse. I can't tell if Spleens is watching this performance or if she's trying to warn everyone. She's like, stop you morons. Let me give you a litter box, Spleens, right next to the performance. I'm basically trapping these people in this performance with pet supplies. I just heard the death thing. Yep. I knew it was only a matter of time. The crowd is gonna start passing away. I wonder if everyone will just keep watching the performance after her dead body is just laying here. They turn to go mourn the body, but they can't stop watching this. Look at them, they're like, ah, oh, this is hilarious. I think what's really bad is this dead body is pulling more people over here, which is going to pull more people into the performance. Spleens is like, fuck this, I'm sleeping inside the bathroom. Someone just died from cardiac explosion. From where? From what? Everyone's just chilling out down here eating grilled cheese. This lady's getting her groove on. This guy's heart exploded. I just realized if two Sims have an argument, one of them can get slightly angry. And if that happens, the anger will immediately kill them because of the mod. Is someone else telling jokes? For the love of Christ, don't tell jokes. We've got another cardiac explosion. It's like a male Bab Ross. Someone else died right next to him. He died of cardiac explosion. This lady died of laughing. The fact that no one has died yet out of embarrassment is blowing my mind. That's usually how everyone ends up dying normally. Look at this. Just from having an upset stomach plus 10 uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to add 20 more Sims. All right, we're over here in the embarrassment floor. Quite a few people have decided to come down here, but everyone's urinating. There's not a big problem yet because there are at least three walls that people have. I've given you 100 beds and you're sleeping inside of the hot tub. Are you, are you really? Do you want to drown? She's probably like, yes. What the hell happened over here? What was that? What did this lady die of? Everyone's still laughing. 
Oh God, the chain of death is happening. It is embarrassment. It's finally occurred. Embarrassment to laughter right next to one another. They can't stop laughing at the death because they're hysterical. So they're torn between crying sadly and laughing at everything that's happening. Laughter, cardiac expl- I don't know where that cardiac explosion came from. No excuse. Someone's gonna die. Yep, there it is. Bab Ross just pissed herself. That's a death sentence. Florida man is dying from cardiac explosion. God, no. Florida man died the way we all would have wanted. Looking at himself in the mirror and saying that he could have done anything else with his life. You know what all this crying sounds like? It sounds like we should add 20 more Sims. How many of you people are gonna mourn this random guy? What about Florida man? What, what, what is happening here? What the hell is this? What are you doing with this tentacle monster? <laughs> I didn't think that an adult could play with this. <laughs> I just heard death problems happening. Where did the tentacle monster go? Would you take it with you? We've got someone dying of laughter. Oh. This guy died of laughter in the bathroom. Oh, no wonder someone's telling freaking jokes. A lot of people are starting to have bathroom problems too. Dying from embarrassment on the embarrassment level. Remember Belinda to put your dirty clothes in the goddamn waste basket. And as I say that someone dies. This is what you get for watching TV. They're dropping so quick, I might as well throw in the last 20. Hey, Death. Death, where you at, brother? Can we get this taken care of? And where the hell did my tentacle monster go? Did that guy eat it before he died? So, I think what happened here is this death made people congregate from all over the house where they have experienced a wide variety of stupidly enhanced emotions and now we're gonna start seeing a bunch of random deaths all in front of this area there is also a ton of people that have urinated all over themselves i called it cardiac explosion laughing themselves to death that's right everyone form a complete circle around the dead this lady must have lost at a video game or something because she's not near anyone else and she just had cardiac explosion where the hell have you been what are you on freaking break he's like haven't you seen the pandemic that's going around i'm not leaving the house later. This lady's dying up here right in front of this plate. She's like, why can't anyone wash their goddamn dishes? Oh. And this lady over here is like, that's what I wanted to say. She got to it before me. Oh, I just heard the sound of urine spraying out of someone. Someone's gonna die. Okay, not the person I thought was gonna die. Someone else died. Oh, he's drowning to death. We haven't seen that yet. Meanwhile, this lady looks on apathetically. She's like, actually, let me get closer to his dead floating body. There we go. Australian man, did you just piss on yourself? I like how he urinated on himself, but like eight other people that weren't him just died. No, Florida man too. I like how everyone is dying and Spleens is just still over here. She's like, I'm still waiting for Babs's encore. It's time you learned about death, tonsils. Do you know what this is? He's probably like, food. Don't you die on top of my cat. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Don't fall to the left. I mean, yes, fall to the left. Spleens is running away. No, Spleens. Don't you run from this. There's still, there, there'll be more comedy shows. I swear to God. I feel like Tonsils' presence over here is spontaneously killing people because there is a lot of death happening around him right now. Bab Ross is going down from embarrassment. She finally got a taste of her own medicine. Meanwhile, someone dies of rage. Someone else dies of rage. Ariaga God just fell asleep. She's still alive. I can't clean these bodies up fast enough. This is one of those rare instances where this dude managed to die in two different puddles of urine. Okay, I'm still cleaning up bodies, but we're probably down to around 20 people. Australian man is still alive. I like how my Sims can't do anything right, but they finally put a man out that was on fire. This is the only guy that guy that ever got saved. Is this guy over here about to die having a grilled cheese sandwich? He's like, man, that pineapple is hilarious. I'm gonna go ahead and spontaneously die now. There we go. This guy's all alone and he's dying from embarrassment. You you should probably get out. Or you could die of overexertion? What the hell? She died of overexertion too. They exerted themselves the slightest amount and they're dead. Okay, now if you land with your head on the clothes pile, it won't hurt as much when you die. And nice. Whitley is still alive. I told you. 
This girl is a juggernaut. And with this death, we now have 10 Sims left. Australian man is still here, LSD and Whitley. Everyone else from the original group is dead. I like how everyone here is having something to eat and Tonsils is like, feed me for God's sakes. He's figured it out. If he just teleports his head inside of the pantry, he'll find something that's edible. I got rid of the pool because the flickering was driving me crazy. So you guys are gonna have to find some other way to die. We have our very first workouter. It looks like she's about to die of mortification while she's working out. She may be dying of overexertion right now, but she's dying with a low body fat count. All right, some other people spontaneously disappeared. I don't really know where they went to, so we're down to seven. Actually, we're down to six now. This guy decided that this rabbit looking at him was enough to piss him off to the point where his heart decided to stop working. Someone else just died. Australian man is dying of embarrassment. Five left, but the loss that hurts the most is split. <laughs> Cardiac explosion. That brings us down to four, three. Susan's dying of cardiac explosion as well. Whitley, you're in the top three again. Overexertion? What did you do? What was it, walking up the stairs? There is only two people left. This is smart. Whitley's asleep. Usually Sims don't die when they're asleep. Spleen has returned. This is the most important thing that's happened. It's like she's vomiting up someone's birthday present. Spleen is like, oh yeah, I had your present around here somewhere up here. And as Spleen dies, this lady dies from anger. How could you be angry at spleens, you heartless bitch? And with her death, that means that somehow Whitley is the winner again. And she doesn't look happy about it. She's like, I'm so depressed. Why do I keep existing through all of these tests? Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.